Alright, hey guys, it's Test, and today we're going to be doing two short tutorials on some map making related stuff. Um, first one, you just saw it in action there, is going to be a proximity device. Uh, it picks up, a, puts out a signal when the player gets close to it. And the second is going to be, oh, there's my disc right there. It's going to be a lock and key system um, using a jukebox and the lock update bug. So there it is. You can see I put a disk in and it uh, opens. Alright, so we're going to start with the proximity device and then do the lock and key. So here we go. Now this one's really simple. It's really easy. It does require the use of spawners, so or pig spawners, so it's not going to be something you can make. You can even make in any other mode besides, uh, well, what I call map making mode. But it is a very simple device. Uh, just requires a little bit of uh, grass, a little bit of redstone, uh, four spawners, four pressure plates. And um, I like to use glowstone to wrap it all up because, um, you know, that way there's light in there and that's necessary too. Okay, and then just some other blocks to encase the whole thing in. And just a second more here. Then the four spawners just go just like that. And presto, you've got yourself a proximity detector. So, let's uh, just demonstrate one more time on this. Uh, okay, didn't get far enough back. There it is, okay. So now we've gone far enough back. And any second now, it is not instantaneous. And for some reason it likes to fool with me while I'm recording. I think it might be a lag issue. Okay, so you saw it work there. That's great. This can be used for all sorts of things. Mines, doors, uh, traps. Specifically traps, I think. I'm going to go ahead and go to day. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and turn the light on too. Why not? Okay, so the second one is equally simple. Um, I, had to do, I did another take and I forgot to plug in my external keyboard and I was making clickety-clack noises all over the place. So... I decided to start the video over. Okay, so for this, we're going to need to do... Um, yeah, that's right, okay. I'm just going to set it up like that for now, and I probably shouldn't have done that part first. I probably should have done the door first, but I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, so where is the door? For some reason, I always get lost in my too many items. Yeah, we're going to start over. We're going to start with the door. Yeah, I don't know what it is. You know, I, uh, I open my inventory. There's too many items. I've seen it a million times. And suddenly, I have no clue where anything is. It's the curse, I tell you. All right. So... I, you can use this in many different setups. You could even connect this one to a bud switch and have it reusable. But for my purposes, I only, um, you know, we're only going to do it as a one-time thing with just the water. Okay, so this is our basic setup here. And then we're going to put in our jukebox. Now you can put this in wherever you want, really. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I forgot. I do need to fill this in for a moment. Now, for you guys out there who don't know what the water update bug is, it simply is that any water that you place will go directly for the first place where it can continue stream its stream downwards. And then, once it has decided on a stream, it will not update itself uh, to, to head down this way, because honestly it should be, until something, a block touching it, has uh, been updated and in this case we're using a jukebox because when it you place a disc inside of a jukebox it updates the block 
just like that, and it opens the door. I thought that one would be pretty useful for uh, those adventure maps out there that uh, do not allow block breaking uh, as a way to, you know, make keys. I do know that uh, you can use a little exploit with um, skeletons killing creepers, but, uh, you know, uh, everything's got its problems, right? So anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed those two tutorials. I hope that uh, that information was... Uh, will be useful for you, especially you map makers out there. Uh, I know this one's pretty pretty specific towards that. Um, but yeah, hey, if you liked what you saw today, please like the video. Give me a thumbs up. I love it. And also, if you want some more, uh, subscribe. That, uh, I really uh, been in dire need for subscribers, guys. So uh, hit the buttons, uh, and thanks for watching.